My dear students, welcome to Unit 3, Week 3, that extends from January 21st till January 25th. We're going to start this week with a post uh, test for English. Um, by the end of this lesson, you're going to be able to understand your current level of knowledge and skills in the subject matter. You're going to recognize areas of strength and improvement. The word wall is going to include diagnostic test, time management, grammar and syntax proficiency, effective composition and organizational skills, analysis, post-test, and measure progress. You're going to watch a video that explains the meaning of a diagnostic test. You're going to click an image to take an English diagnostic text uh, test sample. You will have, you will watch another video that provides you with an overview and some examples of a diagnostic assessment. You will have a pre-test provided uh, when you click on the picture. Um, the challenging question, what does a force in an article stands for? For self-assessment, you're going to have an article that provides topic ideas, writing tips, and an outline example, uh, outline examples for an English diagnostic test. You're going to study it and use it as a practice tool. And uh, for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to check the BC page for tomorrow class with our prefixes and where do we add them. Then you are going to have um, lesson two. Lesson two, by the end of it, you're going to read and annotate A Christmas Carol, Act 1, Scene 2. Uh, the word wall is going to include author, play, act, scene, stage directions, dialogue, setting, and characters. You're going to watch a video about Christmas Carol, Act 1, Scene 2. You'll have an interactive activity related to uh, the video. You're going to uh, watch a video about the analysis of this scene. You'll have another interactive activity, uh, extra practice or further practice. And for the challenging question, why do the portly and thin men visit Scrooge? Cite a line that shows the reason for, for their visit. You will have a self-assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to list five adjectives that describe Ebenezer Scrooge. For lesson three, you're going to be able to read and annotate A Christmas Carol, Act 1, Scene 3. The word wall is going to include symbolism, simile, uh, covetous, morose, resolute, malcontent, and miser. You're going to watch a video uh, of Act 1, Scene 3, and you have an interactive activity related to that. You will have another video of Act 1, Scene 3, and another interactive activity related to Scene 3. Further practice, of course, and for the challenging question, I would like you to summarize Act 1, Scene 3 in your notebook. You will have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to write a paragraph about Scrooge's character. For Lesson 4, you're going to read and annotate Act 1, Scene 4. The word wall is going to include uh, covetous, morose, resolute, impossible, malcontent, miser, drama, act, play, characters, and scene. You're going to watch scene four and you'll have an interactive activity related to that. You're going to read the text and you'll have another interactive activity and further practice. For the challenging question, I would like you to summarize scene four in your notebook. You'll have a self-assessment, and for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to click on the picture to take you the summary to take you to the summary of Act One. Read it and write down your predictions of what would happen next on your notebooks. For lesson five, uh, by the end of lesson five, you're going to read and annotate a Christmas Carol, Act One, Scene Five, and you're going to uh, to apply on uh, comprehension check page two hundred fifty one. The word wall is going to include scrim. Ferret eyes, uh, promissory notes, wrapped, uh, apprenticed, pounds, dourless goal, dawn to regret, characters, analyze, and annotate. You're going to read the text, and you'll have an interactive activity related to that. You'll watch a video of, of the scene, of scene uh, five, and you're going to have an interactive activity. Further practice, of course. And for the challenging question, I prepared an activity that you're going to uh, to do, uh, a self-assessment quiz. And for what to do tomorrow, I would like you to do questions one and two in page 255, 59 in your book. Write the answers in your notebook. 
I can't wait to start this uh, week with you guys. All the love and respect of the world.